Now, what does this petition drive do? It will place on the ballot in November a constitutional amendment that protects the workers of Michigan's right to bargain collectively. No longer will your governor be able to cause us death by a thousand cuts. No longer will a governor like Scott Walker in Wisconsin be able to swing the axe in one fell swoop and end your collective bargaining rights. Collective bargaining has worked not just for wages, but working conditions. Working conditions in factories that made things safer for the workers so that better products can be put out. So that the person working on the line wasn't called lefty after a little while because he only had a left hand. Collective bargaining worked for your children in school. Their learning environment is the workers' teaching environment. If you have a lousy environment that you're working in, it's going to be a lousy environment for your children to learn in. So the Protect Our Jobs campaign is one step in order to try to um, take back and preserve our rights by making it a constitutional amendment. We've got three ways that this Protect Our Jobs campaign needs to be successful. First campaign, we need to get enough petitions signed so that we can get this on the ballot as a constitutional amendment. We need about 330,000 signatures around the state to do this. The MEA, through the teachers and support staff unions, have been doing this all month. And we have, just through the MEA, we have over 100,000 petitions signed already. We want to blow that number of 300,000 right out of the water. We want to get over a million signed. So when it comes around to November, there's no question as to where the power is in the state of Michigan. It's with the workers, it's with the people that have made this state great. The second thing that we have to do to make Protect Our Jobs a reality, we need to get people out to vote. Our last election cycle, we did not get people out to vote in the numbers that we needed. And you've seen what has happened. We have a local representative that does not represent you unless you agree with him 100%. You have all kinds of representatives in both the House and the Senate that are pretty much the same way as your local one is, and you have a governor that's been whittling away at your constitutional rights since he took office. We need to get out the vote so that we can get this passed on the November ballot as a constitutional amendment. But that's not enough. The third thing that we have to do in that election is to put people who understand what work is all about, who understand what it's like to protect your jobs and to protect your children in school. We need to put people like Scott Dianda in office so that we can take back the House of Representatives in the state of Michigan and put some balance in state government. 